gaganda ka sa portraits ng phone na to. I swear, kahit kulang ka sa tulog, kahit may eye bags ka pa, fresh ka pa rin pag nakita mo yung pictures. This is the Vivo V30 Pro and it has all my favorite portrait features on the smartphone so far. So, ano nga ba yung mga features na to? Isa-isahin natin. First is the Aura Light 3.0. I know this isn't new, meron ito sa previous V-series devices, but this one is improved. You can now adjust the color temperature depending on the lighting conditions and your skin tone. So, for instance, ako yellowish kasi yung skin tone ko, so usually I prefer na yung fin light is a bit on the white side just to balance things out. And that's exactly what I what I did with my photos sa Vivo V30 Pro, and I'm pretty happy with my shots. What do you guys think? And because our light pretty much works like a ring light, so diffused yung ilaw, ang lakas makasmooth ng pores, yun nga, nahahide yung eye bags or whatever shadows we have sa face, kaya ang ganda talaga ng mga portrait shots. And number two, it has four 50 megapixel cameras, as in wild. If you have any doubts what this phone is about, I think sa camera features palang obvious naman that it's really camera centric. The main camera has an IMX920 sensor, and the 2X telephoto camera has an IMX816 sensor. So yung high resolution cameras mean that the V30 Pro offers great performance across all focal lengths. Actually, the shots are so amazing. Personally, misa na kalimutan ko na mid-range smartphone pala yung gamit. Of course, we can't talk about the cameras of the Vivo V30 Pro without mentioning the partnership with Zeiss. The color science brought about by this partnership makes photos look more natural and more true to life. You also get access to different Zeiss bokeh options and they're really fun as in I tried all of them. But to be completely honest, maganda yung portraits, yes, but yung differences ng bokeh are pretty subtle. Yun na lang masasabi ko, but play around with it anyway. And number four, I think it's worth mentioning that the Vivo V30 Pro is the first V-series smartphone that has a 2x telephoto lens. So it's great for portraits or if you just really want to zoom into a subject, you have that extra reach. The selfie camera takes great photos too. The V30 Pro has a 50 megapixel ISOCELL JN1 camera, and compared to the other smartphones we've tried, the V series has one of the best selfie camera performance in the mid range segment. But the cameras of the Vivo V30 Pro aren't limited to photography. Lahat naman tayo, we take videos using our smartphones, and it's great for that too. All four 50 megapixel cameras have autofocus, and it can shoot 4K videos at up to 60 FPS. Yes. Just take note guys, na walang EIS when you're shooting 4K 60, so if handheld yung device, better to just take 4K 30 videos. And yes, you can use the Aura Light when you're taking videos too, so literal, when you say lights, camera, action, all you need is a Vivo V30 Pro. Admittedly though, the Vivo V30 Pro isn't for everybody. Kausap ko lang si Jamie about this. For context, yung price niya is 34,999 pesos. So, ilagay natin sa 35,000. Ako, dahil maarte ako. For the cameras alone, G na ako. <laughs> Willing to pay the price. Pero si Jamie, honestly, thinks it's a bit overpriced and that you can get something better for, you know, that price point. And I completely understand where he's coming from. Lalo na if you're a bit more advanced with your photography or when you're taking videos, like, Jamie knows how to properly light things. So even with a camera na walang aura light without all the extra features, he knows how to get that shot. But for me, mga non-pros, gusto ko literal talaga point and shoot. And for that purpose, I think the Vivo V30 Pro works really great. So if you're a gamer, you're a power user, then honestly, this phone is not for you. You have better options out there specs-wise. So, ano nga ba yung specs ng Vivo V30 Pro? Let's just give a quick rundown. It has a 6.78 inch, 120 hertz curved AMOLED display with a 1.5K resolution. It runs on a Dimensity 8200 processor paired with 12 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of UFS 3.1 storage. And this is one of the most powerful setups on a V-series phone. And yes, while it can handle games, it does heat up fast so, because it's too thin, I guess, for it to have a thermal management system. So, if you're an avid gamer, wag na kasi again, mabibitin Lang kayo. Speaking of how slim the phone is, how slim is it exactly? It's 7.5 millimeters, which is surprising considering that it has a 5,000 mAh battery, which by the way, charges at 80 watts, which is really, really fast. And it has an IP54 rating, making it splash resistant. 
So I think by now we've established that the Vivo V30 Pro is a great camera smartphone. As in yung mga features niya for portraits, hindi lang siya gimmick guys. They really work to help us take the best photos, the best videos possible in a fast and easy and hassle-free way. So this smartphone is again 34,999 pesos. Great for camera enthusiasts, maybe not so much for gamers and power users. So let me ask you guys, is this a smartphone that you will consider buying? Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed testing out the cameras of this phone. My name is Leia, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!